Chief Judge of Lagos State, Honorable Justice Mrs. Bitola Shotumino. My dear mother, Elijah Bipa Atmogaji, the AD leadership here present, the family of late MKO Abiola, Chief Mrs. B.C. Abiola, my sister, Afsa Tabiola, to both Chief Mashud Kasimawo, Abiola, and Elijah Kudirat, Abiola, we should once again observe one minute silence for both of them. For their departed soul to rest in peace. The former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Alaji Rafu Jafuju. All the members of State House of Assembly, my colleague, my friend, my brother, Senator Polika Bunwite, who happened to be here today again in honor of our heroine and solidarity with me, all members of the Executive Council of the State, the chairman of Ikeja local government, Alaji Toyam Sat, all other chairmen here present. I've seen many of you. I don't want to go name by name. I want the managing director and the management of Julius Badger, Julius Badger to please join me on the podium right now. It's a very glorious day today. I want to present to you our partners in progress. History of Lagos State cannot complete and cannot be well written without the commitment of this great company, Julius Badger. Ever, ever since they started with Bolaji Johnson, from their small credit, they come to Nigeria. We are part ownership in the equity of Julius Badger. But that notwithstanding, a company that stands in the public for quality, civic responsibility, and job creation for our people. A company that stands for the progress and the development of our state. A company that has formed partnership with Lagos State Government for us to see a radical modernization of our infrastructure to bring about that network of infrastructure and roads, electricity, social engineering in the area of employment creation for our youth, and support for our democracy. I doff my heart and say thank you very much. Excellency, I have to thank you very much for the word of uh, Thank you. Today, to you all, our youth, I 
I notice how happy all of you are from Alimasha to Lagos Island throughout the 20 local government. I'm particularly celebrating with the Keja. If I call Jaye, Mushin and other youths. Yes, the future is yours. We are working for your tomorrow today. Once again this year, 4th of June, we gather not to mourn, or to celebrate our heroine, to celebrate one that woman, Alaja Kudira Tabiola. A year ago today, by the grace of Allah, we were able to commission a monument, a memorial monument, for her. And that, that, that occasion I said that the monument was erect, erected as a mark of our salute to our courage, conviction, a principled stand on the side of democracy. Lagosians have pledged to constantly nudge the conscience of the evil dwellers who murdered our mother of democracy in cold blooded on the 4th of June, every year in a, a commemoration of our anniversary of our death, we must remember her. The naming of this beautiful road after Kudura Atola Yinka Abiola today is in fulfillment of that pledge. It will also serve as a poster in the conscience of the evil doers who must be reminded constantly that you can only kill a person, you cannot kill an idea. The Kudura Tabiola Layinka Road, one of the most beautifully conceived, designed, and executed road in our state, will always be our authoritative declaration of our triumph over our killers and another monumental testimony to her march immortality. I must declare here today that we have further plans. I've listened carefully and emotionally to my dear sister, Absa Tabiola. The emotion you expressed is the emotion we all shared. Your joy is our joy, your pain is our pain. But we are no longer in pain. If the su supreme sacrifice they pay, it's for us to have liberty. A liberty without boundary, liberty without driver mark, liberty without any ink of slavery. That's all we ask for from this nation. That's all we ask from our fellow travelers. And we will remember always, regardless of any situation, that Chief Mashud Kashma Abiola lived and died so that we can all be free. And so did Kudirat Abiola. I'm not going to unveil other plans to immortalize MQ Abiola. I can tell you we will do it. And I pledge we will do it. Together, we we'll fall on you.
want to thank specifically Elijah B.C. Abiola and Dr. Doni Abiola as well for standing firm and supporting the children of late Kudirat Abiola. God in his infinite mercy will continue to guide all of you, your children and the entire family. On this occasion, I call on the people of Lagos State, who no doubt made more sacrifice than any other segment of our nation. Our people got killed more than any other people of this nation. We were deprived more than any other people of the nation during the struggle for the restoration of civil rule. To reflect deeply on this occasion and be more determined to protect democracy, majority rule, and the rule of law. This is the only way that we can continue to honor honor MPO, his wife, and all those such as Parewani, Sheikh Musa Adekunle Ajasi, Dr. Mashola, Rear Admiral Legbede, and several other youths who were cut down. During that dream moment in our history, the Kudira Atola Yinka Abiola Road that we are about to commission was dualized as a further answer to the perennial traffic holdup at the Ikeja Oregon axis, and we are put a vision in place for all of you to see. A good road save you substantial amount of frustration, improve the travel time. As you know, time is the most valuable asset of any corporation or human being. To effectively manage it is to succeed, either in your bottom line, production line, or the essence of social development. How much of it will result? in the very constrained allowance of vehicular movement in Lagos State, if you can do turn around within a short period of time, then the traffic situation will improve. The shortage of fuel will dissipate over time because you are now effectively using those vehicles and those fuel without spending forever and the traffic order. I better spread further for those who may not understand the micro analysis of a good road to our state. The service in the purchase of new shoe will always be affected too. And if our drivers don't have to replace their spare part as often as they do on a bad road, a, foreign, a substantial amount of foreign exchange is equally preserved. That is the benefit of a good road network for the people. And go back to the micro. You know those houses on each, on each side of that road, the value and the quality of life of the owners is already improved, isn't it? And that is what we are trying to achieve. That is what we are trying to do for Lagos State. No matter their hues of cry, it's because they lack the vision, they lack the courage, they lack the confidence to do such a good job that when they were once given the opportunity to do so.
you will find the following features. Concrete side drain culverts and culverts, median curbs and laybys, sidewalk pedestrian walkway, lateral sub base and base cost 300 millimeter thick, road stone base 150 mm thick, uniformly graded crushed stone, modified asphaltic concrete cost, provision of lay-by and all others. This is the radical modernization that is necessary for the face of Lagos. This is what I will describe as truly the path of excellence. I'd mention the, fair, the past neglect both of our socio-economic development in the state that is going away with our democratic dispensation. On oh, furtherance and overall development of our roads, we cannot list for you again. All oh, we've done, we've done, I've mentioned some of it to you during my last broadcast on the May 29th. And we are still doing more. I can give you the assurance you've seen the, what is going on on it today. It will soon reach Yaba. I trust Julius Badger.
I have seen, I've read through it. Once again, the importance of education, your water to drink, the upbringing of your children, lack of employment for the youth, and lack of skill development program will be a thing of the past. Just stay with us, demonstrate that continuous support and understanding will do what we say. A promise made is a promise fulfilled we will fulfill all our promises. office, I told you, 
They don't have the energy. They don't have the resources and the brain that we have. It's manifesting itself today. You have seen Awolowa Road. If you've not seen it, go there. If you've not seen Itire Road, go there. If you've not seen Akiadesola Road, go there and see it. If you have seen what a Balende was and what it is today, and many more, we promise you your frustration will soon be over. We will continue to serve you with all our heart. I therefore call on and thank the Honorable Commissioner for Works, Chief Alehaj Rauf Arekbesola. His Permanent Secretary, Engineer Dutola, and the entire team of Military of Works. I equally thank the entire cabinet, from secretary to the government, head of service, and the rest of our team. The Commissioner for Finance, Economic Planning and Budgets, all of you. We work as a family. We relate as a family. We serve as a team. We achieve as a team. Mine is just to provide the encouragement and leadership Easily, if you falter, we will have failed. They are great people. I want you to thank them on behalf of the people of Lagos State.